Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at a new design from Zondervan called Passaggio. And Passaggio, if you're familiar with classical music, is when a singer changes registers. And me being a musician, I've been a guitar player and a singer in church since, well, 1980. So it's been a while. So uh, th this, the idea of this really speaks to me. So what this is, is a single column in prose. And this is the NIV. And they've got blue text with about 14 words per line. Now, I printed a PDF that they sent me. So, I might not have gotten the sizing correct exactly. So, if this is right, it looks around 10-point font. Uh, maybe a little bit larger. I'm not 100% sure of that because I, I don't know that I got it printed correctly. But uh, we've got um, footnotes in the footer. Separated by the text with a, an, a gold line. Gold section headings. And then... We have, instead of the book name and chapter number in the header, they're on the side. I like that. That's a that's a neat little design there. It does look elegant. And then what makes it a passaggio is that it changes registers. It changes from prose to poetry. When it changes to poetry, it goes into double column. So we go from single column to double column. And the double column, ideally... My train of thought is that you need single column to have the prettiest poetry. But the problem with that, and I'll show you in this NIV heritage here. The problem when you change is that you end up with a lot of white space. It is pretty, but as you can see, you don't need all that. You don't necessarily need all that space. And it, it is pretty, but it, it makes the Bible larger than it needs to be. And so what they've done is... They've changed it to a double column for poetic lines. And the poetry, it does look like it has good line breaks for the most part. There are a few, because of having to break it, there are a few that will have a single word. Um, I don't know that that can be fixed much, but it would be nice if, if maybe like we had two or three words per line, if that were possible. For example, you know, he is my God and I will praise him. You can put maybe... And I would praise him on the next line. But that actually might look more awkward. I don't know. I don't know that. But this does look readable. I like the way this looks. And then here is another poetic line. And what they're, what they're doing is when they change to poetry, it just goes into a double column on that entire line. So if even if it's only part of a verse, this only has two lines and two lines and two columns. It looks really nice. So the Passaggio. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know that. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But it will have blue text with gold highlights. That's interesting. Prose. And then prose in single column. And then poetry in double column. With our footnotes in the footer. Now, they're going to produce this later this year, and it will be available in a couple of different settings. The um, NIV will have Heritage and Thinline, and the NESB will also have Heritage and Thinline. So it does give you a good, a good use of the page, and I'd, I'm pretty sure that's going to make the, the Bibles a little bit smaller, or it's going to give you more room to do other things. You won't have so much white space in there. At the same time, keeping it look like poetry and making it readable. I like it. So look forward to seeing that later on in the year from Zondervan, the Passaggio.